You guys, holy smokes. I'm just popping on for a quick AMC update with uh, Adam Aaron on with Trey's Trades. Holy moly guacamole. I tell you what, that was very impressive. Not only for the short squeeze, a lot of good things in there, especially for this short squeeze. Um, and as a long-term shareholder, I honestly think no matter how this plays out, if we all squeeze and make millions of bucks, let's keep some money in AMC. No matter how this works out, I just... Thoroughly impressed. Adam Aaron is a professional. Trey is a professional. He did a heck of a job in that interview. Um, but just some of the key highlights I'm going to go over in a second. Some very important information. Um, I see this thing jumping up in the morning just from one comment, one breaking news comment that Adam Aaron said. And I'll tell you guys here in a second. But my Lord, I'm blown away and excited as I've ever been here in the last, you know, 60 days plus, but holy crap, holy. Let's get into that in a second. Um, first, you guys, thanks again. The comments, likes, subscribers, and all that stuff. I answered another 60, 70 comments today. It's fun. A lot of guys from other countries popping in. I've seen a couple from Barcelona again. Super cool. Love it. Love every bit of it, you guys. Still little here, still growing. Just if you can trust me along the way, uh, that's all I ask for. I do a lot of due diligence. I do my swing plays as well, but just a lot of fun for me, you guys. So all I ask is like, subscribe, right? So on to Mr. Aaron. I brought up this here. I, I made some highlights here, but holy crap, where do we even start? I'm just going to go over the highlights, you guys. If you haven't seen, I'm sure with Twitter and Reddit and all that, there's some highlights out there, but I watched the whole one hour and 36 minutes. I think it was video super long. I didn't expect Adam to stay on that long, honestly, but holy cremoli, impressive. Um, some of the key takeaways, we'll get to the good stuff here in a second, but what I didn't know, I'm sure I could have found it with a Google search, but it was pretty impressive too. He took Norwegian cruise lines from almost filing a chapter 11 to a sound profitable company. And all these years later, he's still on that board of directors. I think I did know that from this day. Um, I didn't write it here in my comments, but I did notice that he was talking about the 76ers, you know, his hometown basketball team from Philly. His buddy bought the team and he came to work for them. You know, what a cool dream job that would be, right? Holy gosh. But also, too, his job there was to put butts in seats. And then he kind of started talking about, you know, putting butts back in seats at AMC. Just a very well-spoken man. Um, the other thing, too, we all know he bought a bunch of shares. But the one thing that was super impressive with him, you know, he felt right at home. He felt like one of us, you know, kept saying repeatedly, you know, uh, I work for you guys and all that stuff, but he's got 3 million shares. I think we all kind of knew that roughly, right? Um, but also, too, he hasn't sold a one. He's bought more recently. The only thing he did, full discrepancy, he wanted to say, you know, that he did gift 6% roughly, he said. He did the math off the top of his head. I couldn't do the math like that, but he did it. I noticed it was pretty good. Um, anyway, so he gifted 6% to his sons, which is pretty cool, right? And then Trey asked him some very good questions there. He also asked him, too, a lot of, you know, Wanda selling out. Why is Wanda selling out? And then also, too, a lot of people were, um, you know, the executives that were selling out and all that stuff, too. But, you know, really comforting stuff. I didn't know about the Chinese government thing here, but I'll read what I wrote down real quick. In 2012, the Chinese government wanted institutions to purchase outside of China, right? So what they did in 2017 is it sounded like they kind of reversed that. So Wanda sold some shares in 2018 and in 2020, and they still hold 30 million. The other thing Adam touched on too is what a great relationship they have with them, you know, all that good stuff. But then he also mentioned, too, how the darn stock price did end up going up when Wanda was selling out. And Wanda took care of them. They just didn't dump a bunch of shares, right? They dumped, they, you know, sold them slowly over time. So super cool. It sounded like, you know, th that's not that big of a deal when we initially kind of freaked out and panicked over that. I know I was a little worried about it in the beginning. But, you know, this just kind of confirms everything there, too. So and they still hold the 30 million, too. Um, as far as the executives go, I kind of got things out of order right here. But he would just basically said he kept that quick. I don't think it's a big deal. The guys that sold within AMC were the guy, you know, six, seven, eight down the list. And then they sold for profit. You know, he basically said, hey, you know, they're they're part. It's part of life. You know, the stock was 
two, three bucks, it shot up to 10 bucks, some people sold. So I don't think that's a big of a deal, but he did touch on that because Trey asked him about the Wanda and the, you know, the AMC folks that sold out too. Um, and then this one here is the monster news here. This one, Adam said before he mentioned it, hey, I'm, this is a Trey's Trades exclusive, you know, but he said he's not issuing one share if the vote goes through. So if the vote goes through, he's not going to issue a single share from that vote in 2021, which is pretty monstrous news. I think a lot of people, especially this media, we know how the media has been doing, oh, share issuance and blop, just driving that into the ground. Adam made it very clear, and he went in depth about that whole thing, too. And then he also went into the last time the vote went through. I knew some of this, the $500 million that in 2013 that were issued. And he touched on a few points of this and why it's good to have these extra shares available. And this made me feel very comfortable with what he said next was, he said in here, you know, they the vote went through. 500 million. They didn't issue any shares until three and a half years later, and it was to buy out a company. Um, I just put that in there for now. I don't know what exactly it was, but they used 32 million of them. Stock rose again. Then they held on. Oh, yeah, it doubled from 17 bucks to 34 bucks, right? The other 300 million, they saved them. They didn't use them until later, but it was basically to save the company. And the way he made it sound is they would have just been toast if they didn't use those 300 million shares. So between that, the breaking news, and then Adam really going in depth about what those shares are for. He really took a long time to truly explain it and do it the right way, which I think is monstrous news. And I think starting tomorrow morning that a lot, it's going to put a lot of people and that might be the push we need for this, you know, massive buying power that we need. And then, you know, we all know what's going to happen next. Right. So that was really, really cool. So the huge breaking news there. And I think that's a big one and super cool. So glad for Trey got that on his show. That was super awesome. OK, um, Adam also mentioned, too, from March 15th to 30th, the short interest doubled. Um Trey kind of asked a little bit. I know he probably was told what to say and what not to say. And Trey did an awesome job asking the questions. But Adam, it was kind of, you got to watch that clip. But Trey touched on the short squeeze. He he kind of did a roundabout way and mentioned something. And then what I took from it is this part right here. And Adam had, he, he kind of hesitated and looked for the right wording to say. He's such a sharp, well-spoken guy that he didn't really hesitate. I kind of caught through it. And he said that, you know, he shouldn't talk about it, etc. I should focus on running the company, like he said before. But then he smiled and he said, well, at least not publicly. I thought that was kind of cool. Like, he just wanted to throw something out there like, hey, uh, I know what's going on. <laughs> That's what I took from it. Um if you guys want to watch the whole video, obviously, please do. But I just wanted to get on and do a quick little update, some key, some key takeaways from that. What a good deal. And I think that does nothing but good for AMC. It does nothing but help the short squeeze, the long term, the everything about AMC. And I'm glad to be a shareholder. Um, the last thing he mentioned on the way out the door was super cool. Um, I can't remember if Trey asked him something or whatever, but... From Adam Aaron, what he said to the people that are against us, he said it's not, he said three things. And then he said, uh, it's not a good thing to bet against movie theaters. It's not a good thing to bet against AMC. And it's not a good thing to bet against Adam Aaron. And that was outstanding. And that kind of wrapped up the video. So a lot of good stuff in there, you guys. Holy smokes, I'm happy. I want to do a backflip. If I wasn't such a fat bastard, I would do a backflip. But anyway, you guys, super awesome. Um, I'm excited. That was a great piece. Get over to Trey's channel. Check it out. I know a lot of you probably have. Um, yeah, again, you guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for all the subscribers, likes. Go AMC. Uh, they did pretty good today. I think we're up about 6.5% or whatever it ended up at. Looked good. And I, I can only think that this news alone from Adam Aaron has put a lot of people to their mind at ease. You know, it was super awesome news and just a good, good video to watch. So that's it, you guys, for now. 
Uh, I'll try to get on and do a little bit one later on some DD, some more short interest and all that good stuff. But for now, that's it, you guys. Outstanding day. Go AMC. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.